I've been enjoying a very blessed life. And yet there's this struggle part that I can't live with anymore. I just have to explode in every area of my life. And I feel like my escrow is overdue. <laughs> I, I feel like I have a lot to offer another human being in a relationship, and yet I've been a master at blocking it. I feel like I have so much to offer on television as a TV host for all of this spiritual empowerment. And I feel that that's my mission. And the feeling of not being able to do that is extremely frustrating. But the feeling of not being able to do it is what's blocking it, period. It really is this simple. I want to do this. It's not happening. I'm aware it's not happening, so it can't happen. But I want to do this, but it's not happening. I'm aware it's not happening, so it can't happen. I want to do this or have this, but it's not happening, but it could happen. I would like it to happen. It's happened for others. No logical reason why it isn't happening. Maybe my struggle was just in getting my vibrational escrow ready. And I feel it is. It's time for me to let it happen. The stream is flowing. If, if they can do it, I can do it. In other words, it really is only your attention to what is that's keeping you from moving to a new place. You keep telling the story like it is. And we don't blame you for being indignant about it because such a large part of you knows that you're supposed to get what you want mm -hmm. and your awareness that you're not yet getting it. This is the reason that we've been trying to help you to morph into this broader being that you are. Most of you already has received what you're looking for. And you say, well, Abraham, that's fine for you to say that, but we're here looking at manifestations and I don't see the manifestations, So it's hard for me to believe it's done. And we say, we know it is. And therein lies your problem. You've got to believe in your vibrational escrow. And so we want you to figure out a way and you're going to have to do it where you quantify your own journey. We want you to realize that disappointment is pointed the wrong way. Hopefulness is pointing the, toward what you want. A feeling of injustice is pointing uh, in opposition to what you want. A feeling of expectation is pointing toward what you want. So you have to find a way of making what is feel good enough to you that you can point downstream. So l listen to the difference. I'm not getting what I want and I never will. I'm not getting what I want, but it could be turning around. My current condition is permanent. My current condition is temporary. In other words, you just have to talk yourself into vibrational alignment with your own desire. That's all. Esther loves having watched what happened with the movie, The Secret, up close and personal, because she watched this lovely woman, Rhonda. She watched her conceive of an idea, create the idea, but even beyond the creation of the movie itself, she saw it as it is now unfolding. And as Esther watches it happening on the television and happening here and happening there and happening there, she and Jerry, they thrill at the memory of what they heard Rhonda saying back there before she had any reality to profess. She wasn't professing the reality of it. She was professing it as she wanted it to be. That's all it takes, you see. That's the most wonderful thing. And it is an extremely wonderful thing that's going on around that secret. It isn't that the secret will teach you necessarily everything you need to do, although it is a wonderful first step. But this woman applied her understanding of law of attraction, which meant she created in her mind a vision and she never took her eyes from it and the entire universe cooperated and it will for you too. No exceptions. I love all that. And there is a part of me that says, what do you do with the stuff that when you tell the complete truth, 
I mean, do you ever like say, well, that sounds great, but acknowledge what is going on? I mean, if I haven't been in a relationship for 10 years, do I have to say like, it's turning around, but it hasn't showed up yet? Well, what you have to do is talk yourself into optimism and out of pessimism, into hopefulness and out of doubtfulness. Whatever you're giving your attention to activates a vibration within you. So when you focus upon the absence of the relationship that you want, you offer a vibration that is defiant of the relationship you want. So even though the stream is calling you, you're pointed in the wrong direction. And even though you, the stream still is carrying you, you're missing all the opportunities because you're so fixated on what isn't working instead of allowing what is. We wouldn't tell it like it is. We would tell it as we want it to be. So the complete truth, I'm just sharing some of my feelings is that. Well, is it helping you? How do they feel? <laughs> In other words. No, no, I, I mean, I need, to, I need to dump those feelings, but I mean, I'm just sharing that. But I'll do it later. Right now, I'll continue to hold myself in vibrational opposition to what I want. Later, I might get lined up, but for now, I'd rather tell it like <laughs> it is. And the reason. The reason I'd rather tell it like it is, is because frankly, it's more comfortable to tell it like it is because that's what's active within me. So those are the thoughts I have more easy access to and law of attraction makes me have easy access to those statements of what is and, and it's just the drum I've been beating and it would take a little bit of effort to choose a better feeling thought. And somehow I got fixated on thinking that it's better to say the truth of what is than to speak as I want it to be. A lot of people do that. They say, well, it's true. And we say, so what? There are a lot of things that are true that you want. And a lot of things that are true that you don't want. Fix that on the things that are true. If you want to speak truth that you do want, the truth of it is you are an eternal being. The truth of it is you're supposed to get what you want. The truth of it is, as you've been banging around with no relationship, you've really wanted a relationship and you've created a magnificent one. The truth of it is every time somebody was rude to you, you ask for someone nicer. Every time somebody didn't understand you, you ask for somebody more understanding. Every time somebody got too dependent, you ask for somebody more self-empowered every time somebody said something you didn't want you asked for people who were kinder every time you interacted with someone who didn't understand the bigger picture you asked for someone that would understand the bigger picture every time you interacted with someone who wasn't willing to allow you to be who you are you asked for somebody who was willing to allow you to be who you are and you have created a magnificent relationship that you are not in vibrational alignment with because you are so insistent on telling it like it is so stop it <laughs> Tell it the way you want it to be. I am a deliberate creator, you say, and I have been banging around and I have enjoyed life and I've gotten a pretty good idea of what I want. And I'm appreciative of every relationship that I've had, all of those that didn't work because all of them have caused me to offer clarity about what I do want. And I've got a really good idea of what I want, but even more, I know that in vibrational escrow is a relationship that's even better than what I even know I want because I've been adding to that so incrementally. I can't even remember all the slights that happened. I can't even remember all of the contrasting things that happened that caused me to build this wonderful relationship but I know it's there and I'm now making a statement to the universe I am really ready for it I'm ready for it to flow into my experience and I'm gonna do what I now understand is the only work that I have to do I'm gonna choose all manner of subjects that make me feel good and I'm gonna do my best to fixate on them and I'm not gonna be mad at myself if I'm in anger or if I'm in frustration I'm gonna accept that I am where I am it doesn't matter if I put my boat in the stream over here in appreciation or down here in fear or over here in frustration it does not matter where I put my boat in because the stream is always moving toward that which I'm wanting so the only thing that does matter is that wherever I put my boat in whether it's frustration or whether it's fear or whether it's disappointment or whether it's appreciation wherever I put my boat in I have only one thing to do and that is to relax and let the stream carry me to find the best feeling thought that I can find from wherever I am and where I am is in this attitude of pessimistic Mm, pessimism <laughs> pessimistic pessimism I, I I'm bordering on hopefulness but I kill it every time it raises its head I I feel hopefulness raise up a little bit but then the reality and my truthfulness about life just swoops in and I take care of that hopefulness really fast because there's no point in saying to somebody something that isn't after all they might look at me and call me foolish if I were to pretend that I'm happy before I get my relationship people around me would say I'm delusional so I prefer to tell it like it is so when people say 
like, how are you? I say, I feel pretty bad. And they say, why is that? Because I'm not getting what I want. Well, what is it that you want? Well, I've wanted it for a really long time. Well, what is it? Well, I want a relationship and I think I'm deserving of it. And we want you to start telling a different story. How are you? I'm doing quite well, thank you. Well, what's going on with you? All kinds of wonderful things. Well, you seem happier than I've seen you before. Well, it's because I've gotten myself squared away and some things are really unfolding for me nicely. Oh, last time I talked to you, there was a relationship you were wanting. Did you find someone? Well, yes and no. Well, 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 what do you mean? Well, I can feel I'm on the brink of it. I'm right on the trail of it. What do you mean? Did you find somebody or didn't you find someone? Well, the larger part of me did find someone. The larger, the larger part of me has all, is already living and breathing and loving and experiencing this wonderful relationship. This might be too much information for most people, but, but, it's, but it's the way, it's I'll the way, say a word for word. but it's the way we want you to tell the story. Well, what do you mean? Did you find a relationship? I haven't actually seen the face of this person, but I can feel the vibration of my being has come into such alignment that I'm certain that it won't be long. And so now I'm standing in a place of excited anticipation. And I don't have this feeling that I need to turn every corner and say, is it you? Is it you? Is it you? Is it you? Because I can feel that when I turn the corner and it is that one that we will both just know it. And so I have this sort of relaxed calm that has come over me because I figured out the rules of this game. I finally figured out that I was worthy before I was born. And the longer I live, the more worthier I become. And the longer I live, the clearer I am about what I want. And I'm excited about the fact that my life has caused me to create such a magnificent relationship that now I know I'm standing on the brink of it. I'm standing in eager anticipation of it unfolding. I'm no longer missing it because it's a sure thing. I'm just excited about when I'm going to get to see it. And so every day is sort of a day of adventure. I'm not sure where it will unfold or when it will unfold or who it will be or how it will come about, but I know it will come about. And in that knowledge that I must have all things that I want, I'm relaxed and willing to allow the universe to let it unfold for me in the most perfect way. I'm good with that. And your friend will say, you're stranger now than before. <laughs> But you can feel the power of that, you see. It's not possible for you not to get what you want unless you keep telling everybody you're not getting what you want. You got to tell a different story. So if you want to be truthful, then be completely truthful. No, I haven't seen this person yet, but yes, I know this person is coming. No, I don't know exactly how we will meet, but I can feel in my belly that it is coming. I know I deserve it. I know I've created. I know it is coming. I'm at peace with this. It's all right where I am. And meanwhile, there are so many other aspects of my life that are so so joyful. I have all of these things that I'm taking pleasure from in my life. And this is one aspect of my life, granted a big aspect of my life, but it's in the process of unfolding and I'm willing to allow it to unfold in the perfect way. I would so much rather, you say to them, I would so much rather come into alignment with who I am and what's in vibrational escrow and then stand there vibrationally waiting for my partner to catch up than demand in terms of a time limit. I want it and I want it now and get there before I'm ready and the other person get there before the other person is ready and we both stand there in our unreadiness not even recognizing one another I'm gonna come into alignment with the relationship that matters more to me than all other relationships put together which is the relationship between me and my source and when I do that our relationship will come to us it must be thank you yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Mm -hmm.